Hello there and welcome, this is Bob Proctor. Do you know, in a previous video, I talked about the terror barrier, what it was. And I was pointing out that the terror barrier is that invisible line that separates you from an area that you're not familiar with. Now, there's all kinds of things we're not familiar with and they don't cause any fear. We just don't go there. We just don't go there. Um, I mentioned about Scott running all the material, all these programs in this uh, studio. He knows how to do it all. He's very comfortable with it. I don't know how to do it. I have no desire to learn it. And um, so I'm not going to go there. So even the thought of it wouldn't cause me any fear. I'm very comfortable staying where I am. Now I also use the, uh, the example of public speaking. It's one of the greatest fears we have. Now, I had that fear and I overcame it. How do you overcome it? Well, you don't react to the fear, you respond to it. And you respond through it through intelligent action. You face the thing you fear and fear will leave you. I had a desire to speak in public. Not that I want to be a public speaker. I don't even see myself as that, although that's what I get paid to do. I see myself as a teacher. I wanted to teach this information that I deal with to other people. And I was not comfortable with the idea of going up on the stage and, and talking to an audience. So I made up my mind that I would. And I got one of the greatest public speakers, in my opinion, that ever lived. He was called the Frank Sinatra of public speakers, Bill Gove. And what Bill taught me was how to become very comfortable with an audience. See, the audience doesn't, you, the audience doesn't have to scare you. You can become comfortable with them. And he said, Bob, sit and think of what you know. Sit and think of how this information really helped you. And then understand that it will really help them. And your only objective is going on the stage is to help them understand how they can take this information and literally like that, change the course of their life. Now he said, Bob, if you're experiencing fear because you're afraid of what they think of you, you're afraid that they're gonna laugh at you. But if you're not thinking of you and you put all of your focus on them and you have a sincere desire to teach this to them, you're gonna overcome the fear. Now that is responding to fear intelligently. Reacting to it is run. Fight or flight, and that's what we do. If there's something you fear, understand it. Understand what it is. And nine out of 10 times, our focus is on ourselves. If we take the focus off ourselves and place it on someone else, really want to help someone else like that, the fear is gone. You react, you lose. You respond, you stay in control. When you react, you give your power to whatever it is you're reacting to, a situation, another person. When you respond, you're staying in charge. You think about that for a while. It's Bob Proctor. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.